A cafeteria controversy is heating up right now. Kids are back in school. That means they're back to school lunches. But a lot of parents know this. They have, what, 30 minutes to get their food and, and then sit it. down and eat it. So what if you could pay to put them at the front of the line? Parents in Lakeland got this letter from Lawton Childs Middle Academy. Basically, 100 bucks, your kid goes to the front wow. of the line. A lot of parents got angry about this. Grady Trimble found out the school didn't even mean to start this food fight. Like, they can't have thought, hey, this is a great idea. A letter sent home in an orientation packet to hundreds of students at Lawton Childs Middle Academy caught Chris Stevenson off guard. Yeah, flip through, fill it out, next one, fill it out, next one, read it, and went, that's, that's not... That's not okay. It was a fundraising letter from the school's Parent Teacher Student Association, or PTSA. Students who give a hundred bucks or more get a front of the lunch line pass. The last thing you really want to do is add like a food hierarchy. Stevenson says his problem with it isn't just about a student getting his food before somebody else. It's about a kid getting privileges over his classmates just because his parents make a little bit more money than the others. It's 2017, this is not 1960s. We're not telling people to go to the back of the bus because you're poor. That's stupid. Last school year, almost 7,000 kids in Polk County got free or reduced lunches, according to the Department of Education. Why add yet another way of differentiating kids from each other? We don't want any kids feeling like second class citizens. The school's principal says he had no idea the letter went out. He heard parents' complaints and immediately sent an email saying he doesn't approve of it. As a parent of two students here, not very happy. He says he never signed off on the PTSA's letter before it was distributed, which is supposed to be the policy. The PTSA says the letter ended up in the hands of hundreds of students due to a clerical error, saying this family and business sponsorship program was explored, but we decided not to implement. So they needed to raise money. That's cool. There are a lot of other schools that do it in ways that are much less privileged. If they want to collect money in the future, Stevenson suggests sticking to old-fashioned rewards like a brick with your name on it. In Lakeland, Grady Trimble, 10 News. The principal says when he first got to the school a few years ago, kids who got straight A's got to go to the front of the lunch line. He put a stop to that one as well. He says all students should be treated equally.